Hey guys, what's up? Today we have a Diorer custom knife made by Eric and this one is the S90 Hyper and uh, this is no ordinary uh, S90 Hyper uh, it has this special one clip blade style which is the uh, which is a prototype um, Eric told me I'm the only one with this blade shape as of now, I'm very sure that um, after this video, he is probably gonna get some um, order changes, which is fine because um, I think this is very, very good uh, play style for this type of uh, for this handle and for this type of knife. Uh, this is a very very beefy knife. It has a 0.20 uh, inches thick blade, um, which is really thick. Uh, taking consideration that uh, Strider SNG has a 0.165, I think, and that's already that's a thick blade already uh, for uh, EDC use. So this go a step beyond that knife, uh, which I like. The usual blade shape on the S90 Hyper, uh, it's a uh, draw point. Um, honestly, I don't think I don't really like. The, the the drop point on that one uh, because the knife is a little bit shorter than his uh, solo version uh, it has about 3.3 inches on blade length and uh, with a shorter blade length and really you know fat thick and wide uh, blade uh, the drop point seems a little bit um, uh, usual yeah I think that's a, just a little bit uh, simple so um, I asked Eric to make me a one clip um, because I think this play style uh, really uh, fits this knife better. Uh, why? Because um, this is a shorter blade and on a shorter blade you really want something um, thick and uh, um, very rippy, uh, rippy in terms of uh, rips, uh, because you don't have a lot of reach, and because of the short blade, you can you can really apply a lot of uh, ripping force in it. And Eric Dick did an excellent job on this one. I mean, it's, the grind is just so sick. Uh, it is hollow grind, uh, but most of the part on top are like the the thick stock of a M390 steel which is one of my favorite and it's a subtle switch on top which is also satin and uh, it gives the dual uh, tone color on this knife which is really nice um, the blade is really sharp really sharp and you see it has a, a pretty thick tip which is an another plus on this knife um, I feel like I can rip a door apart with this knife. I don't know. I'll probably do a test someday because I it just this knife just gives you so much confidence and it gives you so much power. Um, I even asked a few of my uh, co-workers that I show him two knives. Uh, one is this one. The other one is a. Um, uh, which one was it? Oh, uh, a dual gun grip, TAD, TAD version, uh, Strider SNG, and I, t I asked him, uh, which knife scares you all the most? And everybody, there was like five people, at the same time, they say this one scares them the most. Uh, even though this is not a uh, good stabber, uh, you can actually, you cannot actually stab because of the thick uh, diamond tip you see there. Uh, but they, they are just scared of this knife uh, because of the ripping power it has. And uh, to be honest, I think a one clip knife uh, has a lot of uh, EDC uh, properties uh, because a lot of the time this is the cutting task we do. A lot, probably what more than 50% of, of the time is what we do to cut boxes or uh, when we want to shave something or uh, when we want to do some uh, pull cuts 
uh, it won't clip, it's good because uh, it will not slide over uh, as the draw point usually do. Um, on top of that, the build quality on this one is exceptional. Um, it's even better than the first uh, solo that I received uh, from Eric. I think mine was Solo V2. Um, now he has the version 4, uh, which uh, Eric keeps um, improving himself, which is really good. Um, this clip is one piece carved out clip with a, with a really interesting design um, with a hole in the middle to uh, make it uh, a little bit less unnoticeable uh, when clipped. And um, it's the long, the long clip is good because um, this blade is fat uh, in a good way and uh, when it's in the pocket uh, sometimes it moves around because of the beefy uh, beefy, beefiness and uh, the long clip keeps it in the pocket so it will not fall off so this is a, a really uh, a great design and uh, it is rested on two thumbs uh, on two uh, standoffs which is really cool cool as you can see there uh, and the standoffs are not the same uh, size uh, just because uh, to keep the, the, the clip uh, a little bit uh, much more uh, even so the clip will not um, fall off the other side because it is contoured the, uh, the frame lock side well actually both sides so that's another uh, detail that one has it comes with big big uh, coated screws good for uh, anti-corrosion um, the flipping action is just so fun because um, because this is a thick blade. Uh, usually, thicker blade flips out, uh, uh, you know, less satisfactory. And uh, because lighter blade, uh, it, it's faster and easier to uh, to flip out. But this one, this has been one of the most uh, fun knife uh, for me. I have been carrying it for a week now and it weighs about eight ounces so it's not a uh, not a uh, lightweight uh, knife i usually don't carry knives of that uh, weight uh, maybe what six seven ounces i can uh, carry constantly uh, straight for uh, a few weeks but on normally eight ounce knife it, it will not stay in my pocket for very long unless um, i'm doing some special things uh, that day, but this this knife has been staying on my pocket, you know, straight a week already, and I love it. I, I don't feel the weight. It's there, I know, uh, but it's it, it doesn't wear me down uh, because the knife is just so much fun to play with. Um, the flipping action uh, is really fast, really cool. As you can see, I'm doing the straight up uh, flipping, and it goes up, no wrist action at all. Um, it comes with bearing. Uh, which is really cool. I don't know what type of bearing. I think it's a thrust uh, bearing system that uh, Eric has in this one, uh, not the IKBS, uh, which is really good also. Uh, the pivot design here, you see, uh, it's a it's a shiny flat uh, pivot, which is pretty big also, and a big screw. On the other hand, um, a few dots here, which is connected. You can actually see them through. Uh, when you have some light you can actually see them through uh, so that's a pretty neat uh, design and it has been a design that uh, it's been following uh, Eric, Eric's knife uh, for some time now uh, the jimping on top is really well done uh, it extends until to the middle of the knife uh, so you can you know choke it up and do the work or if, if you don't want to choke it up it still works really fine really good um, it does not, it, it's not sharp, so it will not tear your skin off, but it will stop uh, your thumb, especially when you use gloves, uh, because the cutout is really, uh, really wide. It has really good stopping power. And uh, as, as I said, um, the switch really looks good on this one. And uh, see that uh, diamond tip 
and it's just um, one awesome grind really really good grind there um, the thumbs that you see here are used as a uh, play stop same as the uh, stand up um, the, the stop pin here and the, when the blade closes it closes on the uh, stop pin the frame block is full titanium and on this one is titanium too and but here's the interesting thing the interesting thing is that this is a integral bolster and what's an integral bolster it is that um, it's one piece uh, the frame and the bolster is one piece titanium and then it was carved out on the bottom side to fit this really really excellent uh, carbon fiber uh, there are low void uh, uh, carbon fiber which uh, has less holes in it on this one this is like a, the non void uh, carbon fiber yeah I don't I, I just don't see any uh, little holes in it uh, this is a really 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 high quality uh, carbon fiber and uh, Eric has executed it you know hundred percent the connection from the bolster from the integral bolster and the carbon fiber is just uh, you know seamless perfect um, I really really like it really like it on this side I don't know if you can notice the carbon fiber is pretty thin you know that's you know to grind the carbon fiber to that extent and without making it break you know it, it needs talent it really needs talent what else okay um, the box spacer you see here shiny box spacer it's made out of a, I think Eric told me a 440c stainless steel uh, which he has hardened it to well, I, I forgot the the, the rubber hardness that he, he told me but it is heat treated so it's not some uh, soft uh, stainless steel that uh, he just put there for the look it is here for the look and for the use uh, it, it gives you a little bit more well actually much more uh, uh, stopping power uh, because the jimping stops you from uh, your hands from uh, slipping uh, this is pretty slippery uh, side so uh, you need the all the stopping power possible uh, the big choil here also serves as the uh, uh, anti-slippery uh, design which, re which is really good uh, it extend a little bit about what two millimeter over the frame of the knife and uh, it serves as you know skull crusher or pressure uh, a um, you know cubaton or you can use it as a emergency uh, glass breaker works well I haven't I have not break any glass with it but I will I will say that it will work really well look at that side this is just a big piece of stainless steel this this box spacer probably uh, weights uh, ounce or maybe more who knows but it's there for you to use so it's it's good it's good um, the blade as you can see there's a big choil there's two choil here here and here and on this one people might think that uh, it's useless because it's near the the edge and you might cut yourself and blah 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 but no uh, as you can see Eric has left until yeah that part unsharpened so unless you really have like a really you know double side finger really fat finger uh, you will not cut yourself honestly it's, it's it's you will just not cut yourself it's impossible because it's it's really well calculated okay so if you need to do some really you know detailed job with the tip and you don't want to hold the knife like really away from the blade you can always choke it up you know you know do carvings and you can carve something out of the with the tip and since the tip is straight I mean this is just so useful um, I don't know why this type of blade is not more available 
on the market uh, when you see on the market it's always draw point always you know what 80 90 percent of the knives they are made out of uh, draw point and then maybe uh, some tanto points and maybe some you know this the, the one cliff is just so it's so useful but uh, not a lot of people use it uh, I really you know really m makes me wonder sometimes love the shape oh, and the uh, lock up perfect lock up it's about what 30 percent lock up and really solid really solid and when you close it as you can see there's you know the blade cannot it doesn't move it does not move and very centered the blade is very centered um, really easy really fast to slip out the knife it's it's almost uh, fail proof you know unless you really you, you you have to try to you know not wanting the blade to open you know when sometimes you don't want the blade to make a lot of sound and you don't want to, the blade to open then then maybe but otherwise this is like foolproof uh, for flippers it's just so I don't know um, I don't know how to how to say but as you can see you know it's just so smooth when you push the lock bar out a little bit it's just so smooth yeah, you can you can see the, the smoothness of the of the blade, and um, it's easy to disengage. Yeah, when it when it came, it, it, it has a little bit of stickiness, not really bad. Um, I put some uh, lead on the tank, and uh, it was gone in what like three days. So if you receive new knife from Eric, just give it some time to break in, and you're set for life. Um, he replies my email really fast, actually. You know. Um, same day maybe a few hours later he just gives you a reply sometimes short because he pro he's probably busy but uh, you know he gets to the point um, what else I, uh, oh another neat design I don't know if you guys can see it uh, if you not excuse my uh, lighting uh, yeah you can see it you see there's a bar inside sticking uh, from the uh, let me see. Hold on. Okay, there's a bar inside the uh, from the on the lock bar, and that bar sticks out well, on this in this video to you, and it will stop on the frame. So when you try to, you know disengage the lock and try to push it way over uh, where the lock is uh, designed to it will stop so you will not overextend the lock and you will it's less likely uh, for you to damage the lock you know that's details details and details okay um, Eric it's one of those uh, knife makers that I think is really, really um, into the high value uh, class of knife maker. Um, he's very uh, quiet in a social media because I don't see a lot of uh, movement from him in social media. Um, and he charges his knife really uh, accordingly. Um, unlike, um, unlike some other knife maker that um, charges a little bit more um, and the knife is not even in the same level but you know everybody has their likes and designs so uh, you know I'm not here to discuss price or value or whatever uh, but I can I can tell you that if you get you are able to get on Eric's list just you know just do it um, the price is very very um, child uh, very very uh, competitive uh, with another uh, maker's knife um, he does listen to you and uh, he does do whatever uh, you want him to do with the knife of course uh, within range of course uh, his because it's his design you know you cannot you, you cannot change his design anyway and uh, I hope you like the, the, the video let me know if you guys have any questions um, and uh, before the 
video cuts me off. Let's check out some details. I will really love this uh, flipper. It's so much fun. I've been flipping it like probably over <sighs> what 2,000 times already. Knife still solid. Very very solid. I love this carbon fiber too. Yeah. No matter how no no matter how you see it, there's just no holes. Really really premium carbon fiber. And the uh, integral bolster is just amazing. I think it's probably my first integral bolster knife. Alright guys, thank you. And uh, subscribe. See you again.